you want to get ahead, get a haircut like this. It obviously did the trick for Chris Bart Williams, who was named Young Eagle of the Month before the visit of lowly but lively Luton Town. So Nielsen is brought into it for the first time in the match. His ball forward finds Hurst inside the penalty area. Get off the covering peak. Good ball, says Hurst. It was from Nielsen. It's towards Palmer, out for Phil King, and Phil King still can't get his first goal for Sheffield Wednesday. We've seen him have some tries. He's been here over two seasons now without scoring. That was a good effort. Palmer riding the first challenge. Sort of threading it through the middle, and then saw Warhurst coming up on his right. There he is again now. It's flat, oh, it's across, and Hurst! David Hurst at the back post, and welcome back. He marked his last return to Sheffield Wednesday duty with two goals against Crystal Palace. He's been out for four and a half weeks, and this is the way he signals his return. Good work out on the right by Warhurst, the skidding ball in, and Hurst on the left foot. There's nobody better in the league at converting those sort of chances. 17 minutes and David Hurst's 14th of the season. Into the head of Oaks, up towards Steen. Now Kamara plays an intelligent ball through to Pembridge, who is strong and plays a lovely ball himself to Priest. The top of the oh, it's an equaliser for David Priest at Luton Town. And what a lovely ball it was from Pembridge, which opened it up for him. <laughs> and he was controlling this time. Asking King to put the cross over again. It's not a bad one, and Hurst there again, and tipped over the top. Sutton's good save from David Hurst. Prevents him getting his second goal. Lovely ball in from Phil King. Perfectly positioned, so was Hurst. He climbed so well, Sutton reacted well. Well, the sides met at Kenilworth Road earlier this season. They fought out a 2 2 draw. Hurst was on the score sheet that day as well. Given away to Worthington. Williams just couldn't get there. Pete had spotted the danger. Steen plays Kamara into some space with Harford going forward. And here's a second chance now, and it's going to be 2 1 for Luton. And an excellent goal from Scott Oakes. His first for Luton, and it was delightfully put on a plate for him by Kamara. And Trevor Francis comes on for his first appearance since the cup tie against Leighton Orient, in which he scored two goals, and that was back in October. Throw in, first with the oh, lovely header on from Hurst to Hart, who shows great tip. Oh, great work by Harks. It's a pity he couldn't round it off. That's where he's so dangerous. He's got a good eye for an opening, and all the way in there, you sensed that Harks was going to get a shot in on goal. He tipped it past Harvey, knocked it over the second defender, Troyer, carried on, and then on the left foot, slashed it wide. A little shimmy from Francis, which allowed him to get a run on James here. He still looks immensely fit, Francis, despite the fact he's not played for so long. Here's a good cross. First, again, can't direct the header where he would have liked. But since Francis came on, and that's no more than three or four minutes ago, he's played in two delectable crosses for his centre forward. As the ball is played inside for Pearson. Forward it goes. Palmer onto Hurst. Hurst on the left foot, trying to create some space for himself. Might open it up, he might continue to go all the way himself. In the end, he elects to play Francis in. Francis's cross is not bad, back post, Harks, and across the middle, and an equaliser from Paul Williams. A delightful setup, and a nice crisp finish to go with it. And they all played their parts, first with the ball out, Francis the cross in, Harks the header across goal, Williams in the striker's position to round it off. And it's 2-2.
and Paul Williams has his sixth goal of the season and Wednesday deserved that. in this match as he has been in some but Wednesday do enough to get it back Francis stretches the touch on is for Palmer they have three men inside the penalty area if Palmer can get the ball over he might still back post first controls it into the net 3-2 John Harks storming finish by Wednesday and John Harks deserves a goal because he has never stopped on this day oh it's poetry is this from the moment Francis pushes it forward, Palmer is the one who is taking on the defender feet. Now watch him get to the byline, he does so well. It's a penetrating cross. First takes it on the chest, picks out Hearts, and he says, thanks very much. And that could be a winner from the head of John Hearts. He makes it 3-2 with five minutes to go. The old man had done it again. You only had to see the smile on Francis's face to know he'd just turned in his best performance as the player manager. And all in 20 minutes.